Okay, so let's look at a very simple series parallel circuit. We won't worry about this right now, but let's, this is more of how the equipment is hooked up. So we have our power coming in, L1 and L2, and we have our line, that's our electric um, wiring here. We have our switches here, and, and then there's our loads. This is our condenser fan motor, the um, contactor, yeah, another condenser fan motor and a compressor. So each one of these circuits are independent of each other. So here is one complete power line switch and load. Here is another power line switches and loads and here's another leg and the contactor is a switch loads in parallel here two loads in this rung so th there what we're looking at here are, are three individual complete circuits but they're all kind of wired together so and that's what makes schematic diagrams um, difficult so that just kind of gives you an idea about series and parallel circuits and then remember the controls are in series or in line with the loads. So there, this is a series circuit from here to here. And then all the loads are in parallel with each other. So if you have a condenser fan motor number two is not running, um, you're not worried about the uh, contactor over here, the condenser fan motor number one or the compressor affecting that because loads are always in parallel with each other it's always either your power or your or your switches but we'll get into that in more detail here in later in later uh, lessons okay so when we this is pretty this is a pretty simple schematic diagram but not as simple as this one but when you get done, you're going to be able to look at this and go, oh, gosh, I know what's going on. I know how this runs and what this means and so forth. So there is hope when we get done, we'll revisit this and then we'll see if you can step through it. There's quite a few common schematic symbols. You can download these from the Internet. There is no real standard right now for schematic symbols. They're trying to go to that. Each manufacturer has a little bit different way of um, indicating and, and and putting their schematic symbols in their diagrams. So you just have to become familiar with the generic and basic ones. And then over time, you'll get to learn that. And I, I think eventually what will happen is the schematic symbols and schematic diagrams will be more standardized. Okay, so loads. We talked about loads. That's That's what does the work. That is why we have um, everything else in the equipment is to make the motor turns, to make the compressor run, to turn the fan, to turn on the heaters, or to um, take a coil and make a switch switch, an electric switch turn on and off. So when we're talking about loads, we're talking about those things that consume a lot of power, do a lot of work, and they're all wired in parallel to each other. So loads, most of the time we were talking about motors and first of all, so here, here and here are our motors and here's some schematic symbols that you might see. So this is a condenser fan motor with its wiring coming in and out. This is a, an evapor evaporator fan motor or blower motor and a compressor motor. You may also see it in other schematic diagrams looking looking like this or looking like this not to worry i'll show you how you're going to identify those here in just a bit all right so motors <clears throat> excuse me are either going to be a, a round circle with a designator in in them and there will be a legend that tells you what that cfm stands for efm and compressor again all met the manufacturers identify these differently so you have to go to the legend to, sh to see what these little terms stand for. 